Ready? One, two, three, go! Oh, oh good job. Yeah. Hey guys, and welcome to today's episode of Simply Fit and my review on this awesome arm wrestling table together with Milo. It's not an actual arm wrestling table, although it can be used as one. It's just the Rogue Westside Barbell Edition Reverse Hyper Extension Machine. Stay tuned for my full review and thoughts. So guys, as you can see in that intro, this video is all about just a really quick review and first impressions of this Rogue Westside Barbell Scout Hyper. So this isn't my uh, equipment, this is one of my mates from work, Adams. He's been kind enough to lend it to me for a few days to have a try and do this review. I've got a brand called Fitech, their full heavy duty commercial reverse hyper coming. What I wanna do is get this one back in a few months and compare the two. But my first impressions of this is it's really solid. I've seen reviews where people say that the front lifts off the ground with weight. You've got to go heavy and put some effort in to lift this front off. So straight off the bat, it doesn't do that. It's super solid. It's really heavy. So the actual Hyper itself weighs 39 kilograms, which is very heavy. It's really solid. To, to lift it in and out of the back of the ute uh, was a bit of an effort by myself. So it's like everything else Rogue, it's built really solidly. I'll go through a few of the dimensions of it as we go through some footage. So it's 38 inches in length, which that's the depth, including the arms once it's unfolded. The width of it is 27 and a half inches. And then you've got a 46 and a half inch height from the ground to the top of the pad unfolded. And standard, this comes with the strap for your legs and it comes with just the standard handles. You can get handle extensions. There are these threaded holes up and down the handle, which for shorter people, you can get the handles that are coming out at different heights to accommodate for them. That is an extra you can buy. Once it's folded up, it folds up really flat and you can lean it up against the wall or under something. If you've got something in your garage or your gym where you can put it underneath, like maybe a dumbbell rack or whatever, it can slide under there. It really comfortably folds up. It's less than 30 centimeters folded up. It's got a nice velour backing to the reverse side of the upper padding here. It's like a nice black velour, which is a really nice touch. The pop pins on the side, which is what you use to open and close the machine up, are really well done. You just slide them out, you just pull them out, and you rotate them 90 degrees, and they lock in in the open position. And it's got a nice red line on it to say it's unlocked. And then you just do the reverse, lock it in. Simple as that. This system's got a foot strap, which is a heavy duty nylon with stitching. I'll go through some issues that Adam's had with this, but it's been rectified really quickly. So he's had this machine for probably a month. He uses it a lot for his lower back and his pre deadlift and squat routine. And the, the strapping has started to fray. So he contacted Rogue Australia and they're sending him out a brand new strap. So again, like everything Rogue, it's quality, it's customer service is fantastic. They're sending him out a brand new strap with no extra charge. Looking over the machine, uh, when I first got it, I was really impressed with the powder coat on it. It's got really nice black powder coat. The welds are very good. It's just a, another high quality machine. I didn't put this together, so I can't speak about how it was to assemble from the box, but what I've been told from Adam, it was very quick. There's only a few bolts in the legs. There's like four, two bolts in each leg with a couple of nuts. The weight posts un underneath, a five and a quarter inches long so you can fit a fair bit of plates on them they've got a seems to be like a rubber coating over them like a hardened rubber coating which looks good it hasn't scuffed up so far and it's just got a plastic end cap which there are issues with machines sometimes a plastic end cap gets uh, ruined and when you hit it with the weight so we'll see how that um, holds up in time but one little issue I've had when I've been using it, although I've only been using it for a couple of days, is if you put on standard bumper plates and you're trying to do things like leg curls, because you can do actually hamstring curls on this, not just your lower back hyperextensions, the plate can get in the way of your shin. 
So if you look at all the pictures of these online, they've got smaller diameter plates. So that's just one thing to think about. If you want to load it up, you could just put on a whole bunch of five kilo plates, which are smaller in diameter, and then it gives your shin a bit more clearance. And same thing when you've got the bigger plates on and you're doing just a reverse conventional hyper, the plate can hit your shin. So I've had to kind of open my legs up a little bit to allow for the plates to slide in between. So this machine is super versatile. Like I've hinted upon, you don't just do your reverse hypers. You can do lying leg curls. You can do single leg curls. You can do bicep curls on it if you grab the strap. You could also do a bit of a modified belt squat. I'm looking at the way that this opens and closes the pendulum and you could probably figure something out, although the weight would be in front of you a fair bit. So just quickly guys, in July 2021, this machine retails in Australia for $588. So again, I think that's a really reasonable price for the quality that you're getting. The machine that I'll be getting, which is again commercial, is around about $1,500. So it's three times the price for the same function of machine. My one won't fold up. It's a lot more solid. You can do a bit more with it. You can hold more weight. It can put up a bit more of a beating. But for under $600, you're looking at a bargain here. I'd highly recommend this if you've got lower back issues from anything training wise, deadlifts, squats, whatever. If you got that issue, get one of these. This will cure a bulging disc. It's such a good machine to extend and flex the lower back in the lumbar region. It relieves the pressure on the sciatic nerves. This machine is awesome. More people should do it. And if you do have the time and the space for it, grab one for your home gym. Yes. Anyway, guys, I think that'll do. As you probably guess, I love this machine. I love everything Rogue. They're a really good company. Go out and buy one. If you've got one, can you let me know in the comments any modified exercises you've done with it? Because I want to try some different things. Again, thanks for supporting the channel. If you don't know what this channel's about, go back a few videos and you'll see it's all home gym related. It's all to do with stuff you can do at home, training, nutrition, all that cool stuff. But remember, at the end of every video and before the next video, what we need to do, keep flexing.